Okay, now we got our Z and our X good to go. So now we can go ahead and put the top piece on our 2020. Now, if you'll notice on mine, there's actually a gap right here. And what's that telling me is that this is not square. And as I roll this up, you can actually see this tightening up. Okay, so what we want to do is let's spin this back around this way is we want to go ahead and loosen up uh, these ones that slide along the, the rail, the X rail. Okay. So we can give this a little bit of a tweak to make sure that we get this straight. Okay, we're gonna get that wobble back in the bottom, uh, but that's okay, we know how to fix that. So, but we really wanna make sure that this thing is square. And this piece is the same size as the length um, across here. If we measure from here to here, we'll see that's 15 inches. And then this piece right here should be 15 inches when sucked in, okay? So it gives us a really good uh, way to make sure that the, the actual uh, frame is square. So we're gonna need our angle, brackets again, back from B3. Okay, and this time, I'm gonna start these in the holes all the way up till they're like flush with uh, the back side. So this is actually the trickiest part with this whole setup is getting this square and getting this moving smoothly. Um, so uh, yeah. Uh, but once you get it, uh, man, this thing runs so nice. Uh, but it just might take some tweaking. No big deal. It's what we get do-it-yourself kits for, right? We do a little tweaking and make them better. All right. So these guys will go in. Um, let's see. To where they stop. No. These need to slide in. So they can free slide. Okay, and we'll put one in the inside there, one on the inside there. And this one I'm going to go ahead and square up. This one will pull this in until we get it squared up and we'll tighten it down okay so now we got that square we got these guys loose Goosey goosey. Let's just let this sit right here. Because if it's sitting on the same spot on these L brackets, then it should be uh, parallel with the bottom. And actually, if you look, um, it is. Now, one more thing you might want to do right now is in your box. You got a few more bonus pieces, which are these two um, L shapes, okay? And what these do are, 
And they actually go, I put mine, some people put them on the top corners. I put mine in the bottom corners just to give it a squareness this way. Keep it from tilting back and forth. So what you just need to do is find spare um, M4 with T-nuts, which you should have plenty since we didn't put this um, back bracket on there. Um, and I think there's even more included in the bonus bag. So get those two things. And we'll go ahead and put these on and square this guy up and then we'll come back. Okay, so uh, I only had two extra of these uh, uh, M4s for the corners. So until I get some more, I just put one in each of the far corners. Um, but that really uh, strengthened that thing up. Okay. So now what we want to do is we've got this guy is loose right now, right? So we want to make sure these inside wheels are in snug. So let's pull him all the way up to the top. Like so. And let's go ahead and tighten these inside ones. Okay. So our wobble is pretty much gone. All our wheels are spinning, and if you need to make final adjustments, remember you have the uh, concentric nuts over here to do so. Like this wheel right here isn't quite turning all the way, so I'm going to do just like that. So it is. Those two are turning. This guy is not quite. Oh, yeah, he is. So that looks pretty good. So there we go, nice and square. Uh, next step, I'm gonna rotate this guy sideways so we can get to the back here. Uh, we're gonna put our, our Z motor mount and uh, put that on here.